funny bloopers here, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, we're just going to go straight into it. Um, <laughs> <Bully up. laughs> it's over. <laughs> My name's Wizai. I'm here today at the Facebook headquarters to talk to Conor McGregor about his involvement mm -hmm. in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, I've heard you play a bit of COD. Mm -hmm. You're quite good on the sticks, you know. Yeah. Um, play style. Are you aggressive? Are you a bit sit back, sniper? Mm, I do go through a little bit, but aggressive, aggressive is probably where I'd be mm -hmm. most of the time. Sure, Force sure. in, take yeah. everyone out and bounce. <laughs> that, would be, <laughs> and bounce. that would be my setup. Um, you've been given the opportunity to, to play a part in Infinite Warfare. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Um, it was just put on the table. Many, many things come in and out and get presented to me, but this one got presented to me and I dived all over it. Sure, um, sure. Obviously, I've played the game before. Um, I was obsessed with the game for a while. Um, and then when I had the opportunity to be in it, I dived all over it. So, so obviously, being obsessed with it, being a fan of it, mm -hmm. what was your initial reaction to, to seeing that offer? And then, you know. I was very excited. You know, acting or, or that kind of thing, it doesn't really interest me. Uh, not that it doesn't. I, I don't jump up, jump up with ex Yeah, I don't jump up with excitement with it every day. You know, right now I'm a little bit more focused on the fight business rather than yep. show business. But, but this, was, this was a little bit different. Yep. Um, I played the game. It was one of the only, probably, you know, I, I've played a couple of games. That I've uh, I've got obsessed with a couple of games, but Call of Duty was one of them. So when it sure, when sure, it presented sure. itself to be in it, I, I I couldn't believe it, you know. And then obviously the magnitude of it, it's bigger than absolutely. It's bigger than anything. It's bigger than any Hollywood, any of that. Yep. So, um, and then when I got there and I was filming for the for the character, and um, they had me do scenes, and it was it was kind of like acting and stuff like that. But you know, it was more. It was like I was playing or something. The the the, the guy directed me well and want, sure, they wanted sure. me to do a certain thing, and I I, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, and then to see the process of how you go from just walking in like I am and then becoming a game character, it's it, it's it's a crazy process. Um, so we're gonna I'm touch just, on your yeah. sorry, I cut you off. We're gonna touch on your acting in a moment. Mm -hmm. um, your inspiration to many. When was it that you realized that your career had started to go leaps and bounds? Yeah. Is you know, like a, I'm still. A moment I'm, that happens. Uh, you know, when you're chasing your dream and when you're when you're working hard, chasing something you love and and um and completely dedicated, it just it just happens. You don't you don't you can't really no, notice it. You know, even still to this day, I'm in a in an amazing position in, in my life, um, but I'm still I'm still working like I'm not. I'm still working like I'm not in this position. Absolutely. I'm still working like. None of this is even, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just, It's just something I love to do and I just keep pushing and keep working hard. I can't pinpoint an exact moment for you, but yep. if, if anything, I always felt like it was happening way back then. And, and now it is happening, but now I almost feel like it's not happening. You know what I mean? And I wanna, <laughs> I wanna push to, to something else. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm always striving to push forward, so. Yeah, it's good. Bruce Buffer, in 2008, you told him to remember your name. What was it like to walk into the octagon, UFC octagon, mm. for the first time? Mm. I mean, obviously, it's a dream come true to walk in. First of all, to walk in draped with the Irish flag. It hadn't been done before. We hadn't had a representative go in, put on a, a performance that the Irish fighters are known for, you know. So we hadn't had a good run inside mm -hmm. the octagon. Before I stepped in, no one had even had a win. So... That alone was, was an amazing honour to lead the way for my country. Um, of course, Bruce, he got my name wrong that time when I asked him to say the <laughs> I, I asked him to say the name first before I told him to remember it, and he said Colin instead of Connor. But this time he got it right, so it was a good, it was sure. a good feeling. The whole, the whole experience was amazing, and it's something that I'll take with me for sure. forever. So, previously used to fight in Cage Warriors. Mm -hmm. How does that compare to fighting in UFC? I mean, it's... It's leaps and bounds. You know, it's a very, very different. It's a, it's a completely different level. It's sure. it's it's much larger on a much larger scale. But my experiences in 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 cage wars and, and all the other promotions, not just all the promotions before that as well, it helped prepare me for mm -hmm. for for certain situations that you'd find yourself in. But you're talking even fighting in the UFC and then fighting on a McGregor show in the UFC is is leaps and bounds different. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So. Um, 
everything has been a learning experience for me, and I and I take everything as a as a as a learning experience, and I look to grow from it. And sure. And and you know what? That's why I keep growing. So stripping that all back to start of your career, a man with a dream, um, you know, training in the gym day in day out. If somebody said to you, you'll have or you'll be as successful as you are now, what have you had said back then? <clears throat> I believe you. That's what I would have said. <laughs> because I did believe. Yeah, I believed in it. I, I had very few people who told me that. I had a small, small, small group of people that would tell me something like that. Other than that, it was just me telling myself. Yep. So if someone came up to me and told me that all the way back then, I'd say you're damn right. I like it. So, man of many suits, star was on point. Won most Irish man award twice. Going back to the you talking about acting, what was your experience of a motion cap suit? Totally different suit. The the suit to create yeah, the game yeah. thing. Yeah, that was it fit nice. It was <laughs> snug. It was like kind of like compression training gear. We wear these compression gear with a tight to the skin, uh, and it, it, for hygienic purposes, it's good. Like they're called rash guards. Right. Um, so it kind of felt like that. It was compact. You feel a little bit more stable or something. I, I had fun with it. Sure. It, was a, it was a crazy experience, a different experience than I'd ever experienced. We documented the whole thing. We had it on the MacLive channels. Yep. Um, uh, it, was, it was great to experience it. And then it was also great to share it through the MacLive. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and for, for the fans that they can see <coughs> what it, what it um, is like to become a game character in a game sure. as big as Call of Duty. Because it's not... You know, I don't. Some people I don't think maybe realize how big it is. You know what I mean? You walk into that, that's that uh, they're building, um, and it's like it's next level. Yep. It's next level how they turn you into a game character and how they create it. It's, it's so just it, it, it's BT bigger than anything right? you've ever experienced. So um, it was an honor to be there. It's an honor to be in it, and it's an honor to show it to the fans and let them experience it and be in it with me. Yep. So dominating the Call of Duty scene, being in Infinite Warfare, but also dominating UFC. What's next for Conor McGregor? I mean, two of the biggest franchises in, in the world. Absolutely. The UFC recently sold 4.2 billion, the biggest sports entity sale there's ever been. Call of Duty smokes everything. Hollywood, yeah. all other games yeah, yeah. and Hollywood. So to, to, be, to, be, to be involved and leading the way, I mean, the UFC, I'm certainly leading the way. This, this I'm only wetting my toes and this, I'm only dipping my toes in, in the Call of Duty mm -hmm. one. We'll see where it goes. But if they're the two biggest franchises and I'm involved in them, maybe it's time I set up my own franchise. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll why see not? Why not? Well, thank you for coming on today. That's all the questions I have for right now. Certainly hope to see you online in the game sometime soon and look forward to playing as Conor McGregor within the game. Mm -hmm. um, again, thank you. Thank you to the viewers at home. Thank you to Facebook for having us. Um, guys, don't forget to head out and pre-order Infinite Warfare before it launches on November the 4th. And I think there's only one thing left to do is roll the multiplayer VT. Well, thank you for coming on us. Oh my God, why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? It's just gonna be some funny bloopers here, you know what I mean? All right, we're just gonna go straight into it. Um, <laughs> Mario, <up. laughs> it's over. Well, thank you for coming on it's and talking been, to us today. It's my pleasure. <laughs> um, before we go, uh, oh no, that's the wrong part now. See what I mean? <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today here at Facebook. Thank you to Facebook, thank you to the viewers. Guys, don't forget to go out and pre-order Infinite Warfare before November 4th to see Connor in the game. The last thing to do now is to run the multiplayer VT.